I've decided to make a quick video showing you how to upgrade the memory on your Alienware Alpha computer. To do so, I've purchased two Kingston HyperX Impact 8GB memory sticks, which are DDR3 running 1866 MHz. The Alienware Alpha in this video is the i7 model, uh, which has the uh, 4785T quad core processor running up to 3 GHz. It's got a 2 gig graphics card, which is a GeForce GTX, and currently has 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is in a configuration of 2 times 4 gigabyte memory sticks at 1600 megahertz. On the underneath of the console, you need to remove the four Phillips screws, which are in the four corners. you then need to remove the outer plastic casing from the internal chassis. There are plastic clips which hold the top to the bottom. These can be prized apart with a tiny bit of effort. Here is the underside of the internal chassis. Um, on the left here we can see the hard drive under a protective metal cover. We're not going to be touching that today. What we need to do is we need to flip over the PC and take the top plastic cover off which should reveal the GPU and the CPU. Okay, on the left here we have the GPU and on the right we have the CPU. What we need to do is remove the fans and ducting so we can access the internal components. So if you're only upgrading the memory on your Alienware Alpha, you'd only need to remove the writer ducting and fan, uh, which would give you access to the memory, which you can see here in the bottom right -hand corner of the chassis. Okay, to release the existing memory, all you need to do is carefully prise apart the metal clips holding it in place, and once you've moved them apart just enough, the actual memory card will become free. You can then remove both the existing memory sticks to replace them with the new. To install the new sticks, you first need to install the lower of the two sticks, and all you have to do is carefully seat it into the connector and push it down until you hear a click on either side. Once you've installed the new memory sticks, you can then carefully replace the fans and ducting.
something to remember that I forgot in this video is the fact that you need to make sure all the plastic clips are fully connected around the outer edge of the plastic casing before you put in the four Phillips screws and tighten those. Once all the four screws are in and tightened, that's it, job done.